Okay, Anthony. So, I'm assuming you know how to get to Ryan. You just follow the link, and then you're going to click Show in the Study. Um, so, it, it, the link should take you to something like this. You should open up. It's the 628 articles. You're going to hit Show. And then in here, <coughs> in here, this is where all the articles that I've imported from the databases can be found. Um, this little window down here will show you what article you're looking at at any given moment. Okay, so we've, we've selected this one, so it's demonstrating the, the title and the abstract for this article. Um, these buttons here are the ones that we use to make decisions. So if we like this one, then we include it, it stamps it green, and it categorizes it appropriately. If we don't like it, then we exclude it. Um, if you're on the fence, you can hit maybe. Um, but there, are, rather than just going through all 628 articles one by one, there are some things we can do to make that a little bit easier. And that's where these filters on the left come in, and they're super nice. So if you can, yours might already be expanded. But you can see the ones we've already filtered. So in this, in this um, literature review so far, we've got 582 that are undecided. Um, we've included two, and we've excluded 44. Uh, if you go down to keywords for exclude, this is quite nice because you can have animals, right? So for animals, we can. It, this will search all of the articles that use the word animals in them. And then we can go and say, are they actually useful? Because we want to not just delete them because they were include the word animal. We want to make sure that we're deleting them for a good reason. Um, and just because they include animal doesn't make them excludable from the study because they may just reference animals, but they may still provide human cochlear measurements, which is what we care about. So on this one, you can just go and you read the title. Does it make sense? Is there... The, the criteria, again, that we're assessing for are is it a, a primary clinical trial and not a systematic review? So that would be the first one. The second one is does it include cochlear measurements? And if those two criteria are met, then we can include it. Um, and so if we like it, let's see, applicability of subcortical EEG metrics of synaptopathy to older listeners with impaired audiograms. So I don't, that doesn't seem like it's going to be um, very helpful. I don't see anything about uh, measurements in here. It's talking a lot about audiograms. So this is more like hair cells and stuff, hearing impaired. So we're going to go ahead and exclude that one. Sheep as a large animal ear. So unless they, unless they compare it to humans, it doesn't seem like it's that useful. Yeah, it seems mostly like they're just talking about animal ears. So we're going to exclude that one. So then you just go through and you'd include or exclude all of those. And as you make decisions, so like as I include this one, right, let's say we do want to include it, then this number is going to change. Um, or if I exclude it, then it's going to change. So it's categorizing it the whole time, which is the utility of the tool. It's the reason we use it. <clears throat> you can also see if any of these look helpful. Um, but just make sure before you... Try, try to do a one-by-one one screen. It really shouldn't take too long. Um, and even these ones, these non-English ones, the articles, for whatever reason, are... Um, well, now they're gone. Uh, they were in English, though, even though they, their main language is not English. So we're not even excluding those from this study. Um, I think that's the majority of it. Uh, if if you want to start by using these filters, you may. You can just see where we're at. If I've gotten it down by the time you get around to it to where all of these are no longer useful, then you just go to the undecided. You just start screening one by one. And we just want to get through as many as we can so that hopefully we can have an abstract by noon on Monday. Um, so yeah, hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'm happy to... Uh, discuss this later too.